this video, we are going to show you how to get started with Edison for Technomatics Blend Simulation. First thing we need to do is open Edison. This is done by going to the Edit panel in your Blend Sim and finding the Edison button to the right and Start Edison from the drop down menu. As soon as it's open, click on Create New to create a new configuration. Type a name of your choice and click OK. The next thing will be to define the bounding boxes for Edison. So let's go back to Blend Simulation and let's create a textured plate which we will be needing for our bounding box. In the Textured Plate field, just enter a width and the height of your choice and provide an image. As soon as you're done, just click Create and position the textured plate in your model. This will be the area where you can walk with Edison plate. Now select the textured plate, make sure it's selected and go up to the Edison menu and define bounding box. In this window, you will be asked to give a name for your bounding box. We're calling it BB and the height for the bounding box. Just type 60 meters for now. Click OK. And we have defined our bounding box. Surely you can also define a bounding box by an object that's already in your model, like for example this workspace area that is highlighted in blue in our model. We're gonna use this to make a new bounding box. Select your workspace and go back to Edison, define bounding box. Be sure to give it a name that is distinctive to the other bounding box and type again the height of 60 meters and click OK. Very important here is that the textured plate has to be on the same height as the workspaces, otherwise Edison will not work. Now let's select the objects that we want to use in Edison to move around. Select the object, go to Edison, add selected objects. You can do that with any number of objects, just try that again with the next one. Select the object, go to Edison and add selected objects. Now that we are done with setting up everything in PlantSim, let's go back to the Edison editor, which should still be open in the taskbar. We now have to link all the information we provided in PlantSim and tell Edison what to do with it. In the floor plan menu, you will find the drop down menu with the two bounding boxes that we created before in PlantSim. Click on the first and next. Leave the name like it is, finish, and you have created your first floor plan. Do the same thing again with the second floor plan, and we can move on to create a point of view, which we will use to move around in the model later. In the drop down, you will only have one option, which is the plan simulation view camera. Just click next, point of view, next, and finish, and move on to link the movable objects, the workstation that we added in PlanSim before. If you look left, there is a Create 3D Object button. If you click on it, you will be provided with a list of all the possible objects that we create. We will not need to control the height of the object since they will stay on the floor, so deactivate the Control Height option. This first station was created as a movable object. Now click the button for adding a stationary object and choose another workstation from the list. In the properties to the right, you can add different options for the thumbnail. You can generate one automatically, or you can add your own picture with the Import Thumbnail button. This thumbnail will later be visible in the Edison Controller app and in the tabletop printed version. Now we are ready to use Edison with our PlanSim model. Reduce the size of the Edison window so you can see both the PlanSim model and the Edison editor. To navigate the scene, click and drag the POV button in the editor and move it around the scene. With the mouse wheel, you can rotate around. You can adjust the tilt, height and rotation of the camera in the POV options until you get a good overview of the scene. Just try to move around a little bit to get a feeling. The same works with your movable objects. Click and drag the object button in the editor and move it around the floor plan. To the desired place. With the mouse wheel you can rotate around again. 
Often in presentations, you will want to have a stationary viewpoint which can easily be accessed. We can create such a viewpoint by clicking the Create Viewpoint button on the left. This will save the current POV view and add it as an object. Make sure before you click the button that you position the POV, right and click Create Viewpoint. Let's try to create a second viewpoint on the other side of the room. Move the point of view with click and drag and add a second viewpoint by going back to the editor and clicking New Viewpoint. Now you can jump between two viewpoints just by simply clicking on them in the created object list. Right, so since we want to simulate something, we will also need to add simulations to Edison. Let's do that by clicking the Add Simulation button. Now for this to work, you will need to have made a simulation in PlantSim already, which we can use for Edison to control. Here we already made two simulations. We will choose the first and give it a name and click Finish. On the right in the properties, you can directly see the possible simulation options like play, stop, playback speed, and the automatically assigned marker numbers. These marker numbers come into effect when working with the tabletop kit, where you use tangible objects to move around the scene. For now, let's test our simulation by clicking the Start button and the Real Time button in the Properties. The simulation will continue even as you switch between viewpoints to get a better view. Now it's time to test Edison on the tablet. Take your tablet or smartphone with Edison controller installed. And be sure that your tablet and the computer on which Edison and PlantSim are working are in the same Wi-Fi and no firewalls are hindering communication. Open the app and select your configuration file. As soon as it loads, you will find all the objects we created in the editor before, as well as many other standard options. For now, open the menu and switch between your before created viewpoints. Start your simulations that we created before, stop them. But you can also move your objects around, you can change your point of view. There's a lot of different options. Just try. Another way to control your Edison installation is by using the tabletop mode. With the help of a webcam and the printed floor plan and markers, you can do everything you can do with the Edison controller and even more, but with tangible objects. Change between floor plans just by exchanging the sheets. And with the point of view marker, you can move around your scene. You can also have different tangible objects for your stationary workstations and enable them or disable them in the simulation. Or take your movable workstations and position them the way you like in your simulation. You can print markers for all the 3D objects and all the functions you created in Edison. Remember the viewpoints? With these markers, you can easily jump from one viewpoint to the other one. And with the play marker, you can easily start your simulation. This is the end of our Getting Started tutorial for Edison for PlantSim. I hope you enjoyed it and we're looking forward to working with you. If you have any questions, you can refer to the manuals or contact us directly at edison.com.